A D S R Pro. Hi guys and welcome back to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. We're going to continue looking at Halion now and uh, we're going to look at how you can bring samples in and use them within Halion. So first of all I've opened up Halion, you get your standard hexagon preset. Let's just delete that, create a blank program. Now I'm just going to drag that across into the slot rack and we've got a blank program. So if you go into a program tree, select synth and we'll use a sample zone. Now what we need to do is go to the edit menu and click on mapping and you can see that we've got a sample in there already. Let's just delete that so it's blank. Now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag a sample in from a sample pack. So for instance most sample packs that you get may have five or six different notes of the same synth. So for instance one might be C1, it might be F2, G3 and so on. Normally they are labelled, if not it doesn't matter just drag it across and what we'll do, I'm just going to drag random ones across. Now what I'll need to do is just select always on top, so Halion stays. So let's just drag a couple across. Now these are in A, so let's just zoom in. Okay, then what you can do is you can literally just drag it out across as many octaves as you like. So there are samples. If we go into the sample editor, you can see the sample there. So let's just minimize that. Now, fortunately, this particular sample is, as you can see, it's almost like a constant waveform. It's not modulating. Not too much anyway. So what we can do is we can select a loop point on this. So I've select the loop menu and we're going to click continuous. And let me just move these across here somewhere. In fact, let's not go all the way to the end. Let's go about here. Now at the top I've got a couple of menus. I've got snap and I've got snap to zero crossfade. Now what this does is it snaps to the zero point on the waveform which stops us from getting any form of clipping, albeit it's not perfect, dependent on the sample. So let's select that and we'll just move that a couple. Now let's just play a constant note. So there you can hear the clipping. So let's just zoom in a little bit and let's see if we can get that to sound a lot better. Well, I'll just take scroll off there, auto scroll. So there you go, that instantly sounds better already. And what we can do is we can apply some crossfade. Not perfect, but a lot better. That allows us to have a real long sustained note. So now we can play chords. And it doesn't sound too too glitchy, too too clippy. So let's do that again. Let's delete that and we'll just try a couple of different samples and see see what we come up with. So some will obviously be a lot better than others. If you're wanting that long sustained. So that one is actually quite similar. So let's try let's try a different one again. Let's delete that. And let's try one of these. You see that one's actually marked as A sharp. So let's start it on the A sharp note and stretch this out. So you can hear that's got quite a lot of modulation on, so actually getting this to loop really well will probably be quite hard. So let's try anyway. So let's select a continuous loop and this first section didn't modulate too much.
that's not too bad there. Again, let's increase the crossfade. <laughs> So again, not perfect, but um, again, spend a little bit more time, you know, finding the correct sort of loop zones you want. With this being quite a long sample, what we could probably do is increase our loop points. So it literally spans the whole sample a couple of times. And to be honest, you may not hold the note down that long. Even go more. Now again, you could just get that initial glitch sort of loop to sound a lot better than what it does now, but you get the idea. You know, you've got to work out what it is you, you exactly want to do with the sample that you've done. Now, some of the sample packs actually come with multiple samples over the uh, range. So let me just quickly flick through my sample packs and see if I can find something. Okay, so I've managed to find uh, some samples that are um, basically named as we would like them. So what we're going to do is just drag them across and basically you can see here that if I play now they're all basically in the wrong order. So what we need to do is basically give Halion some idea of what we want to do. So with regards to mapping, in this instance what we can do is right click the samples find mapping and in this case we're going to key text in sample name so what that's going to do it's going to use the C5 and E3 and basically map that according to to that text so let's do that now you can see there let me just zoom in you can see F2 is on F B2 is on B E3 is on E etc and what we need to do now again is right click go to mapping uh, we're going to use the root key, uh, but we're going to fill up from the root key. So what's going to happen now is this sample on A2 is going to expand all the way up to the next key. So right click, map in, root key, fill up. Now let me just zoom out a little bit. So there you can see we're now mapped across. And if we wanted, we can again right click, map in, and this time we will fill gaps, pitch only. So there you go, that's just expanded that lower range. So there you go, that's one way of, of mapping the samples across the keyboard. Now, like I said, the sample packs generally do come with the uh, key of each note in the sample, so this should be relatively easy to do. So let's delete those, and let's go back and I'll do another. So let's just drag these across again. So there you go. Again, they're all over the shop. So what we need to do is right click. We're going to go to map in and we're going to key text in sample name. Again, that's now put all of those on the correct note values or should have done hopefully. B2, A3, etc. Let's right click again, map in, root key fill upwards, right click, fill gaps, pitch only. So there you go, that's now mapped the samples completely across the keyboard. There you go, it's that simple. So, hope you found this useful. Again, I'm still learning Halion 6 myself. So, you know, please don't think of this as the definitive guide to Halion. Uh, I am just experimenting. And all we've really done there is just import samples and map them across the keyboard. Obviously, there is so much more that we can do other than just that. So, until next time, please do subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye. A-D-S-R Pro
A D S R Pro.